one sub away. <laughs> I'll be here to entertain or attempt to your day. Superman got nothing on me. I'm only one sub away. Come on, just do it. It's 2016. Is that your New Year's resolution? I know it's not. That's okay. You can change it now. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. Happy weekend! Welcome to the second weekly vlog of 2016. If you've forgotten already, I now do two videos a week. One more planned out one on Wednesdays and then a compilation of all kinds of random things on Sundays. This week was wonderful and contained a lot, including the Target Challenge. Let's get started. Okay, just for the sake of being honest, it's about 10 minutes after I finished shooting that unboxing and I said I wasn't going to use the instruction manual, but I'm using it. I've got it out, full disclosure. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is my first time actually vlogging on this camera, the G7X, out in public. The camera has left the house. I'm going hunting for a case because I do not trust myself with it outside of the house. Going to Target. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why there's already so many bathing suits like right at the front of the store in January, but it makes me want to buy one. Like, I don't know anywhere to go with the bathing suit, but no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, going to camera cases. I want that, I want that. There should literally be a YouTube thing called the Target Challenge, like trying to go into Target and make it out with only the one thing you came in here to find. Why am I in the rugs aisle? Ooh, I probably want a lot of these things. Not, not that. <laughs> Good one, Target. You're so funny. Wait, why am I in groceries? Where's electronics? <sighs> this is horrible. I think I'm going in the right direction. But I don't even have a DVD player, so this does me no good. Do people still buy these? Look how cool you could be if you just had that. Camera accessories. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many. Do you like it? I'm not asking you, the humans, I'm asking the camera. Do you like it? Would it fit you? What size are you? $13.79. Why do they make prices so weird? Like, why $13.79, not $13.99? Not that I want to pay 20 more cents, but it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Get it? Sense. So, uh, kind of success. I beat the Target challenge, for sure, because I left the store without buying anything. I like that case, but I'm not really a green person. I mean, I like the environment. I found the case on Amazon for $4 cheaper and a color that I think I like better. So I think I'm gonna order it on Amazon, but I'm still gonna go over to Best Buy and see if they have any better ones. Dun, dun, dun. I want to protect you. I'm here for you. Okay, I'm your mother or wife. I haven't decided yet. I do need to get an extra battery for this camera. Not that kind of battery, but blue. No case for you today. Uh, where's my car? I have no idea. I hate shopping. I mean, I don't. I just hate the parking part of shopping. I don't even know why I'm going in here. This is the most dangerous store of all. But it's happening. Mm, do I need it? Whoops. I bought some things. My desk at work it's kind of messy, as does everything in my life. So I'm trying to organize them, and these were 50% off, so yay. Oh, also, I got some colored pencils, because I really want, you know how adult coloring books are now supposedly very trendy? They have adult coloring book journals, and I'm trying to find it. They don't have the one that I want here, but I got the colored pencils for when I do get that journal. I'm trying to journal in 2016. It's one of my resolutions. I sound so cool. That actually sounds like an adult thing. Oh my gosh, for once. I bet you can't figure out what my favorite color is. These things. Water bottle. Phone case. Ah, obsessive much? Is it too late now to say sorry? I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a box of cereal in my passenger seat because I need snacks. You need sustenance when you go shopping, okay? And that's what I decided would be the easiest snack to grab and go. <laughs> that's embarrassing, I shouldn't be telling you this. Here's something I don't understand. So I'm walking in downtown Portland and most of the sidewalk is like fairly clean. We're not like that dirty or gross of a city. But then you walk by these patches where there's just like tons of bird poop. Why do all the birds decide to poop in one area. Apparently there are some serious poop parties happening that I didn't get invited to. Poop party, poop party, everybody's going to the poop party. Oh my god, I hit a wrong button. 
We're at the radio station. <laughs> Let me be the last one. Nope, didn't like that one. You gotta get that whiskey off your breath. That's my new single. I don't know why I like do actions like this because I know no one can see me through the radio. I'm a sane person, according to some people. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. Why am I in a nightclub? I'm not actually, this is a workout studio. Can you hear the music? Get out of your mind. We're doing a segment about a fun, unique workout because look, there's a disco ball on the ceiling. We're gonna rock out with our socks on. I successfully, if you can call it that, did Zumba on live television, and my dad texted me afterwards. Nice hit. Pants problem? Question mark. Gotta just be upfront with these issues, and I would rather have that happen than actually have my pants fall down on live TV. So I'm on my lunch break, and I'm going to do something that no one, no one in the history of this world has ever done this. I'm going to buy a Powerball ticket. By the time this video goes up, the drawing will have already happened, so I will know if I won or not. And if I won, maybe this video will never go up. Actually, it will, because I won't be doing anything else with my life since I'll be a bajillionaire. So I'll have so much time to edit videos. Hi, I get so, two Powerball power tickets, ball. please. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I mean, if I only win like a million, that'll be fine too. Let's go, good luck, good luck, kiss it. I just gave myself a paper cut on my nose. Is that lucky? You have to tell me what's going on. Well, apparently there's some <laughs> members of our staff who started a uh, lottery pool and we're trying to keep it quiet from everyone else in the newsroom. They're gonna like, come to work, billionaires, there's only six of us left working here and we have to do all the work for everybody. But what exactly. if everyone wins and no one shows up tomorrow? That's the problem. We'll have to face when we get here tomorrow. Yeah. I'll do it for like a week. Yeah. Okay, cool. Deal. <laughs> Take my money. How does this work? This is my legal... <laughs> This is legally binding. Today we are doing a segment at the Portland Boat Show and in between our hits we're gonna find somebody who will let me borrow some boating clothing so I can look like a dork on TV. Can you see me? No, because I am camouflage and I'm even in a camouflage boat. We are getting ready for the Portland Winter Hawks game, Portland's hockey team, and we're hanging out in the little break room thing with some popcorn. I almost just stuck my hand in the popcorn bowl. That would have been very rude of me because there's other people around that would eat this. This is Tom Tuttle, by the way, if you don't remember him from previous segments. He's also a mute. <laughs> He's a statue. Are you even moving? What are you doing? Are you I was just going to get on the interweb. If, so you're saying this picture we is oh, going to go over through the magical air. And get the people. And how does it go through the air? Uh, don't you see these little like fibers in the air? That's there a video. Go. That's probably a tweet. It That's a Snapchat. From there to like back to the Powerball. What would your first purchase be? I would buy all the popcorn in the world. But, um, I, I don't know. Never thought about. I just no, wouldn't you want have. to give it away. And you get the exclusive interview, right? It's seven fifty nine. What if we just won right now? What are you doing? I'm this is gonna be like on the web thing again? Mm hmm So again, how does it go from your camera over there to the interweb? Where did my ticket Oh my god, I thought I lost my ticket. Here's the deal though. There's a far greater chance you're gonna hit by lightning than you win this. That means you don't dare get out of the car because if you're hoping to win the Powerball, you're also hoping to get hit by lightning when you get out. That's fine. Do you, do you die from getting hit by lightning? A lot of people do. But there's what? a lot of people that don't die. Isn't I'd be fine getting hit by lightning and winning the Powerball well, as long as I point. don't that's die. A good point. You've been struck by a smooth Powerball. Do -do 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 -do. Where did my ticket go? Oh my god, what if I won and I lost it? Ready for the winning ticket? 8, 20, ah, boo! You lost already <laughs> on the second number. Ooh, I still yeah. hope to win. Ooh, that's right. It's like here's my face of joy. I could still possibly be a winner. Face of joy. I just got home and 
check my mail, a giant picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. So I promise this isn't going to just be a mail vlog, but my camera case came in the mail. We're gonna open it up. Open it up. Look how cute this is. So this is the Fashion Nation Universal Eva camera case. It's very manly. Ow, I think I just like aggravated the paper cut that I gave myself with my Powerball ticket yesterday. And the battery and memory card can go sit in there. You're going in your new home. Do you like it? Yes, you do. Yes, I am talking to my camera as if it is a person. We've already established this is my husband child. Hanging out on a school night. I have to be up at 3.30 tomorrow morning, but we're at base Cheers. camp room. We've got Dave, Lisa, Steve, Kurt, me, and my beer, the S'more Stout. They torch a marshmallow into the beer. I'm not a big beer person, so if you put a marshmallow in a beer, everybody having fun on a school night? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there went your marshmallow. Don't steal my marshmallow. <laughs> Everyone just having a jolly old time. <laughs> oh, so yummy. <sighs> good morning. It is Friday. That's the good news. The bad news is it is 4.30 in the morning, and I just got to work. I'm filling in for our traffic guy this morning. I brought some coffee, which if you've watched any videos on my channel, you know that this could turn out very badly, but... It's happening. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Just tell yourself that. I stayed awake. Coffee? Almost all gone. Brain? Kind of still functioning. I hadn't decided what I was gonna make for breakfast yet, but these eggs, I swear, these eggs just wanted to be made. They wanted to be eaten. They were having some suicidal moments. First, they fell out of my basket at the grocery store. Then they got squished under a jar of spaghetti sauce in the grocery bag. Then they fell over in the car. Basically, they just wanted to be gone from the world, so I decided to crack them open, put them in a pan, and put them in my belly. Apparently I'm out of salt. Great timing. Sorry, eggs, but you got your wish in the end, right? I realized after I made my sunny side up eggs that I don't have any toast. I mean bread to make into toast. How do I move on from this tragedy? And that was the week. That really included a lot of me talking to non-humans. Foods, cameras, is this a problem? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in a few days. Oh my gosh, only a few days. Bye. What is this lovely shadow coming from? Oh, it's a wire. I won't touch that.